Professional video editors use crazy high-end hardware and software to do their work. Professional photographers get fancy with Lightroom and Photoshop. The setup for high-level music creation and DJing is pretty nuts as well. But whenever I try to look into the tools used by professional writers to write scripts, novels, blogs, and so on, I wind up disappointed. Every article I find interviewing writers or listing their tools just has boring entries. Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Windows Live Writer, or plain old notepad, or otherwise just some hyper-specific screenwriting program specifically for films that isn't re relevant to the rest of the writing people. That is until I found out what Game of Thrones was written on. I'm Evil's Fox, here to make tech easier and more fun. And yes, George R.R. Martin writes his novels on a laptop running DOS. That DOS. And good old WordStar 4.0. I actually have two computers. I have the computer that I browse the internet with and I get my email on and I, I do my taxes on and, and that computer. And then I have my writing computer, which is a DOS machine. Not connected to the internet. A DOS machine. A DOS How old machine. is this you remember program? DOS? Yeah. Yes, remember DOS? I use WordStar 4.0 as my <laughs> word processing this, system. Did you, did you make this computer out of wood? <laughs> <laughs> While the 1980s terminal-only interface isn't super appealing today, the benefits of running DOS as your operating system include performance due to no extraneous operating system bulk like with modern Windows, and no worries about viruses. Even if some script kitty had the IP address of his laptop and a direct connection to it, they would have no idea how to do anything to it. Nor could they in most cases. Script kitties aren't going to take the time to learn DOS, and DOS doesn't include any of the modern vulnerabilities that people know to look for. Plus, he has no reason to put it online in the first place. I was intrigued by this. I'm quite interested in distraction-free writing tools, and I do most of my writing on laptops away from, away from my main desk setup, specifically because I find it to be a more distraction-free experience. So how is WordStar 4.0? I, I wanted to give it a try. Of course, the five and quarter inch floppy disk won't quite flit, fit into my laptop. So for this, I'm using FreeDOS, a free DOS implementation that has been in development for 20 years or so, and it's still being maintained to this day. It's a pretty neat project. Currently, I just have it running in VirtualBox on my main laptop. It doesn't let me full screen the VM for some reason, but I'm given the pleasant, maximized WordStar 4.0 typing experience while still having access to my panels to pull up Firefox or something for research. This is neat, but technically less distraction free since I am prone to click on other things in my desktop GUI. It's a mental thing. Installing WordStar is fairly straightforward-ish, if you're competent in DOS. I'm in the younger crowd, so I'm not. My first gaming experiences at nine months old involved playing games on Windows 3.1, but my actual computer usage didn't really start until the Windows 95 and Mac OS 7 days. But a simple look through the manual and careful manipulation of virtual floppy images within VirtualBox, and I'm even able to write this very script on WordStar. It's minimal and straightforward. Basic function keys and control plus letter combinations are how you control the software. And that's, that's it, that, that, that's it. It might seem super compl complicated and slow at a glance, but by not worrying about extraneous functions, formatting, menus, or even a cursor, you're free to just type away and be as productive as possible. It's actually quite a refreshing experience. If I can get past the document conversion issues, I may stick with this full time. If you are having issues with running a VM, you can use DOSBox to emulate the program itself, or simply make a free DOS boot disk and boot into free DOS on your machine, specifically for the purpose of running this program. But there is a pretty annoying problem, converting the document files. WordStar natively saves to the .doc file format in a .back backup file. If you're confused, it's time to take note that Microsoft actually took over the .doc, .doc the .doc format, that's hard to say, and bastardized it with XML structuring, but it did not originate with them. The files appear to be encoded with US-ASCII format. Google Drive won't open or convert the files, and LibreOffice has zero compatibility tools that support it whatsoever. WPS Office doesn't seem to want to open the files either. Unfortunately, the only way that I have found to open the file format with characters intact is by using actual Microsoft Word. When you try to open the .doc file in Word, it pops up the character encoding selection screen. You need to scroll down and choose US-ASCII. This will keep all the letters intact, and then you just have to adjust the line spacing issues and such. 
not super convenient and begs the question of whether the extra efficiency gained by the distraction free writing environment is worth the hassle and time it takes to convert the files. Especially since we only have a single word activation and it's on my old rig, which is now my fiance's. But on the whole, WordStar is a nice program. It has the basic functions you need to write a document and won't go auto-correcting your weird spelling if you happen to be writing about the Targaryens or the Baratheons. It, I, I will still use it from time to time. I did want to try exploring other distraction-free writing experiences again. I found plenty, but most of them were tiny web apps that didn't have much of a pleasant writing experience at all and didn't do, a good, didn't do much to take away the distraction. Heck, one even added more distraction by rewarding you with cat pictures. Focus Writer currently seems to be my best bet though I had to make a custom theme with a dark gray background and a much bigger font size, as all the default themes were just horrible. But the interface can be pretty buggy on Linux, unfortunately. I also ran into Hemingway, which takes your writing and analyzes it for readability, which can be a huge bonus for making writing easier to understand. I plan to try to use this a little more for video scripts in the future. It runs fine from a web app. I wanted to get their desktop app, but it's only available for Windows and Mac, and it's $20. No, oh, thank you. My quest for truly distraction-free writing is still ongoing, but I have more knowledge and experience now. I will continue to use a combination of Google Docs, WordStar, LibreOffice, and Microsoft Word for now, and keep an eye out for other options. FreeWrite is one such example, a distraction-free word processor designed for this very purpose. Maybe I'll get to take a look at it someday. What do you think? Could you use a dedicated word processing app like WordStar? Is the DOS interface even something that fits the bill for distraction-free in, in, in the first place? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, smash the like button and get subscribed for more tech videos like this, and I will see you next time.